and I'm really glad that I can do like half push-ups right now. Several months ago or several weeks ago, I could not, I couldn't like only push with my elbow or do any type of movement with it. But now after the rehab, I'm so happy to be here at the gym. I'm so happy to do what I'm doing best to work out. And that's why it's a good start for me. So yeah. So guys, another day on my rehab. And in today's workout, it's gonna be just simple, like some lower body and upper body workout. I will show you, of course, the best exercises I'm choosing to get better with the time. And of course, to not tire my, or to not put a lot of weight and stress on my muscle and on my injured arm. So, yeah. Let's go. I'm gonna start with my lower body and it's gonna be some squats, body weight, and of course with some weights, just to put a little bit of weight on my muscles after this long time. And yeah, trying to warm up slowly, but surely. So it's gonna be three sets, normal squats. Let's go. Second exercise, guys, will be lunges, like standing lunges. And I'm gonna do it with some weights. Not a lot, but enough to put a little bit of pressure on my legs, on my hamstrings and my quads. So it's gonna be the second exercise, as you can see. Three sets, nothing crazy, but it gets the job done. for the third and last exercise and it's gonna be just just a type of exercise for like squats for legs but in a way to put the maximum weight or stress on my legs like for standing like this for minimum 30 seconds you can do more of course but for me it's gonna be only 30 seconds or 40 seconds just to get used to the squats or to the form, to the right form, to do proper squats. So that's why I'm trying this exercise. And yeah, it's gonna be enough actually for my lower body. So guys, starting the upper body exercises, I've chose to start with one of the underrated or one of the most underrated exercises out there. It's hanging on a bar. So this exercise have two benefits. One of them is strengthening the grip and the second one is of course stretching your lats, stretching your chest muscle that helps you perform the other exercises where you will knowing that I'm coming from a injury that will help me a lot to control my exercises, to control the movement from the beginning to the end without stressing my muscles and of course my elbow so this is gonna be the first exercise and I'm gonna take it a little bit further with some shrugs for my back that kind of helps me also activate my lats and control this exercise really well so that in the, in the near future I will be able to perform some pull-ups, some lat pull-downs and everything that has to do with my back. So that's why this exercise is really important for my rehab. So I'm gonna get to the position of the push-ups of course same thing but then I will of course stop right here just to warm up my elbow and to get also familiar with the exercise and believe me guys when I tell you it hurts a little bit but it's not a it's like crazy it's not like crazy hurting but I can handle it. So it's gonna be three sets for the same position. 
and then we're gonna change the exercise. So for the second exercise, guys, it will be the same, like push-ups, but this time I will start from the upper side of the exercise and trying to go down. So like the negative way from the exercise to go down and then start over again from the top. So I'm gonna start from the top and going down slowly. That way I will concentrate my muscle for the exercise and trying to feel my elbow if it's doing okay or not. So it's gonna be just like this. And going down slowly. Of course, guys, I'm trying to feel my chest more than to feel my elbow and not hurting my elbow again. So it's gonna be six to eight reps. Depends how you're feeling. For me, six to eight reps, it's gonna be enough. Of course, as I told you many times, I'm trying to get back to where I was before the injury. So that's why I'm taking my time, going slowly, but surely these type of exercises take a lot of time. But of course, if you stick to it, you will get better, you will get stronger. It, uh, it's a matter of time and patience, so I'm not in a rush, I'm trying to get better, and that's why I'm taking my time. Last exercise will be the opposite from the one before. I'm gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna push with my elbow, of course, and with my chest to get up in the position of uh, for a push up. So. One. I'm gonna start here and push. That feels good. And of course, guys, the reason why I started with the negative side because it's the most difficult one. And if you control it, you control the movement, you control the exercise. And to get, of course, confident that I will not hurt my elbow. And to feel also if my el elbow would, will respond to the exercise, will feel some type, of, some, some type of pain or not. So that's why I started with the, low, uh, with the negative. As you saw in the exercise, it was easy for me to push because my elbow is already warm, already used to the exercise. And that's why it was like without a pain, without anything. And I'm really glad that I can do like half push-ups right now. Several months ago or several weeks ago, I could not, I couldn't like only push with my elbow or do any type of movement with it. But now after the rehab, I'm so happy to be here at the gym. I'm so happy to do what I'm doing best to work out. And that's why it's a good start for me, so. Yeah, it's a good start, of course, uh, in my long journey now to get better or to get injury free. Uh, so I'm so happy about it. Everything has a beginning or has a start point, and this will be my start point. I can never doubt myself, I know better. All of you critics be acting like you know better. Blowing the smoke, but I know when it just settles. I'm in my element, it's evident that this level to the game. All of those dark nights I got then breaking my back to make it out, got me feeling like pain. I ain't never need your help. I know you wishing me well, a penny for your touch, but seeing no change. So that was it guys, that was the whole workout for today. It was not a long workout, not a difficult workout, but pain-free, 
that's awesome and I've really enjoyed it. So that was it for today's workout and I will see you with more workouts in the future because I'm planning to get back to my routine, to, to get back to the stuff I'm loving to or to the stuff I love doing most. And yeah, thank you so much for your support, guys. See you in the next video. Peace.